Okay, y'all. I'm currently sitting in my daughter's room because it's really the only quiet place in my house right now. Let me see if I can turn this way and maybe prop y'all up. Oh, that's a bad angle. Um. Hmm. Is this better? Sort of. You guys want to see where y'all are at? We are on the bed. And y'all are going to be right here. I don't like that. Mm -hmm. Can we all sit? Nope. Mm. Well, that's not going to work. What if I take the pillow off? I just want to have a quick conversation real quick. A quick conversation real quick. If that makes sense. That's a little better. So, um, I wanted to talk to y'all about something I've been trying to work on a little bit lately. Since, well, not lately, just within the last few days. Um, and it's being honest with myself. And before we dive really deep into like what I mean by that um I want to say before y'all comment like anything because what I'm gonna say at first unless you listen to the whole thought I already know what the comments are gonna say so just listen to the whole thought okay so I thought I wasn't recording for a minute oh good grief I take my glasses off to record because I hate that y'all can't, I guess, see, I hate that y'all have to look at yourselves in the reflection of my glasses. I can't see you now that I don't have my glasses on because I'm freaking blind, but, um, I need to fix my hair. Anyways, so being truthful with myself is something I'm working on, you know, like, when things happen that are sort of out of my control, things I could have seen coming, should have seen coming, but didn't see coming, or even things that I couldn't have seen coming. Um, when they happen, you know, I'm, you're a failure, you're awful, you're a bad mom, you're um, a bad person, you're a bad friend, you're, you know, all those things are things that I know a lot of us tell ourselves in certain situations. See this pimple here? I was nodding and keep picking at it. I shouldn't do that. But what is that? Why is there all of a sudden an indention on my face right there? Who knows? Um, anyways. Or, you know, sometimes we wake up and we look in the mirror and we're like, you're ugly, you're too skinny, too fat, too this, too that, not good enough. You know, those are all things we say to ourselves. And none of those are accurate. Sure, you might be a little underweight, but some of us can't help that. You may not be able to help that. And as long as you're making steps to fix that, same with you might be a little overweight. Some of us don't have the choice but to be a little overweight due to health conditions, injuries we may have sustained, um, you know, whatever the case may be. Nobody is ugly. Maybe an ugly person, like, inside. But nobody is ugly on the outside. Everybody is beautiful. Um, so I've been really, over the last couple days, focusing on being truthful to myself and I want to start with some of the negative truths about myself okay and these are kind of like things that I tell myself all day the negative truths about myself are I suck now before you comment let me finish I suck at being nice to myself I suck at um, congratulating myself, acknowledging accomplishments, 
Um, I suck at complimenting myself. I suck at taking care of myself. I suck at, you know, just being good to myself. Those are some negative truths about me. Some positive truths are, I am a good mom. I am not a failure. I take damn good care of my family. I, um, I'm beautiful. That's what I'm still working on, making myself believe, but I know that I am. I'm a good person. I'm a good friend. I'm a good listener. I'm a good talker. I'm smart. I can be funny, regardless of what my husband likes to believe. That's a joke. It's a running joke that he doesn't think I'm funny. He does think I'm funny. It's just a running joke. Um, I have a lot of hair breakage. That's not not here or there or in this thought. Um, I, let's see, what's another positive thing about myself? I am a good cook. I um, have been told I'm a good advice giver, that I'm very wise. But to be honest, y'all, I pull a lot of that stuff out of my ass. I mean, some of it's stuff I've heard before. And some of them are just like light bulbs that go off in my head when I'm like reading your comments on lives or on my videos or hearing you guys say or through text message, emails, whatever it may be. They just pop in my head and I say them. They're not things that I've put a lot of thought into. They just make sense. Um, let's see, what else? Um, my house is a home. It's not a museum. I'm very good at making my house welcoming. Um, anyways, that's, this video is not about me complimenting myself. Those are just examples. Um, we need to all learn how to live in our truth. Let's say you wake up tomorrow, right? And... Your kid is throwing up and has diarrhea. And you're fairly certain it's food poisoning, right? And you guys had, I don't know, KFC the night before for dinner. It's very easy to say, well, I'm a bad mom because I gave my kid KFC and now they have food poisoning. That's not the truth. The truth is, you were a good mom and you fed your kids. The fact that they got food poisoning is not your fault. You had no control over that. Sure, if you wouldn't have went to KFC and you would have cooked at home, maybe your kid wouldn't have got food poisoning. But you did what was good for you and what was good for your kid in that time, and that's what matters. I feel like this video is not going to make any sense. Um, I'm not very good at explaining these types of things or being vulnerable like this. But, like, uh, a couple months ago, my son got one of those, I'll show you, uh, if y'all can see, it's a curtain rod like this, but skinnier, and the end was off of it, he got one of those, and he was playing with it, and he had it in his mouth, in his room, I didn't know he had it, I had it under, if y'all know, my kitchen, the curtain on the cabinet, I had it stashed under there because it was supposed to go on the, where did it go? Oh, it, there was supposed to be like a valance and then curtains on the kitchen window and I took the valance off and just put long curtains on there because I don't like the way a valance or valance, whatever it's called, looks. So I had just put longer curtains on there. And so the second pole was no longer needed and I had it stored under there and he found it. And he was playing with it, and he jammed it up into his mouth. And we ended up taking him to the hospital because he was bleeding profusely. I could, couldn't hardly get the bleeding to stop. And um, I had to call my husband to come home from work and take him to the emergency room because it was. they were still only letting one person in the um, hospital with, you know, with uh, kids and stuff. And so it didn't make any sense for both of us to go. I stayed home with the other kids, but... 
I felt so guilty. Um, the reason we took him to the hospital, I knew they weren't going to be able to do anything for it because of where it was in his mouth. But where it was in his mouth, it was in like the soft palate of his mouth in the back. And I was afraid maybe it punctured through to the sinus cavity or something. And I wanted to make sure all that was good. So I had my husband take him to the emergency room. And I felt so guilty. I was so hard on myself. I should have been paying better attention. I should have put that up somewhere better where he couldn't have got it. I, you know, I should have just left the valance on, valance, valance, how do y'all say it? Somebody inform me how you say that. Um, anyways, I should have just kept it on there and then that curtain rod wouldn't have been down anyways in the first place. Or I should have just thrown the curtain rod away or... You know, I was a horrible mom because I didn't do this or I didn't do that and he got hurt and it's all my fault and now he's in the emergency room and what if they call CPS because they think I did something or, you know, just all these negative things about myself. And then uh, the truth of the matter was my son got into somewhere he wasn't supposed to be. He knows he's not supposed to be in the kitchen cabinets unless he's getting like a bowl for a snack or a juice when we have the little Kool-Aid juices that you have to pop the top off of. He knows he's not supposed to be in any of the other cabinets. He knows what cabinets he can get into and which ones he can't. He wasn't supposed to be in there. He knew he wasn't supposed to be playing with that because he had gotten in trouble three or four times that day for getting in that cabinet and getting that pole. I was dealing with a screaming. I may have even posted a video the day that this happened, like talking about it. Or I may have mentioned it in a video. Um, I was dealing with Luca. He was having tummy aches and screaming and crying. And, um, you know, yes, I could have maybe been more attentive. But the point is, my, hu my husband, not my husband, my son, got into something he shouldn't have got into. And he knew he wasn't supposed to. He had already been in trouble. He had already been in trouble for it. And he did something that a kid does, and he put something in his mouth that wasn't supposed to be in his mouth, and he got hurt. That's not my fault. Yes, I could have done things to prevent it, but kids get hurt. Kids do, I'm gonna say something that might be controversial here, kids do stupid things sometimes because they're learning. They don't know that it's something stupid. And you wanna know what's funny is, the, as soon as he gets home from the hospital, he asks me where it is, and I tell him I put it up because I don't want him to get hurt again, and I hid it in a closet in my hallway behind a bunch of stuff, and he found it again, and I got him playing with it again. So then I finally just threw it in the garage where he can't get it, which is where it should have been in the first place, but that's neither here nor there. Okay, so point of the matter is we have to look at the truths in situations. The other day when I was laying in my bed crying for two hours over a situation I really had no control over, I was calling myself a failure. I was a bad mom. I was a failure. Fa bleh, 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 bleh. Cat, I can't English today. I was a failure of a parent. I was a failure of a wife. I was a failure of a homemaker. I was crying in my bed for two hours. I messaged Kat, uh, I messaged Chrissy, and I messaged Crystal, and they both helped me realize that's the farthest thing from the truth. Things happen, and yes, what happened was something with the trend of the year I should have seen coming, but I wasn't prepared for, and that doesn't make me a failure. It may make me a bad preparer, it may make me... Uh, you know, but it doesn't make me a failure. It doesn't make me a bad mom or bad wife or bad homemaker. Um, this video doesn't make any sense. I'm going to post it and probably regret it, but I just want you guys to know that we have to start living in the truth. We have to start being honest with ourselves. And we have to stop sucking at being good to ourselves. Everybody in this community is so good to each other so good to each other but we're not good to ourselves I'm not good to myself I know that 
that's something I don't talk about a lot. Like on Christie's Lives, I tell everybody, yeah, I'm a damn good mom. Nobody can tell me different. I am a damn good mom, but the only person who can tell me different is myself. And I do tell myself that. My kids get hurt. My kids get mad at me. I yell too much during the day. I don't, I, I get so hyper-focused on cleaning my house or, uh, doing this project or doing that project that I don't spend enough time with my kids, you know? I tell myself I'm a bad mom, but the, the truth of the matter is that doesn't make me a bad mom. That just means I need to better manage. I think there was just a spider crawling on me, guys, and I don't know where it went, and I'm gonna not freak out on camera. I'm just going to pretend like that didn't happen. Okay? Maybe I might pause the video and freak out. No, no, I'm not. Um, what was I talking about? Yeah, those things don't make us bad parents. Those things make us human. Mistakes make us human. God created us perfectly and perfect just the way that we are for a reason. We all play a role in so many people's lives. And we fulfill those... Mm, I was about to say we fulfill those roles just like we're meant to fulfill those roles. I'm not going to say that applies to everyone. I know that applies to everyone in this community. But that doesn't apply to everyone. Some people suck at fulfilling some roles. But that's neither here nor there. You guys, for real... This video was just me wanting to sit down and talk. I haven't done this in a while, but that was the main thing I wanted to talk about is we have to be nicer to ourselves. If we wouldn't say it, if I wouldn't say it to Kat, if I wouldn't say it to Crystal, if I wouldn't say it to Chrissy or Marcy or Lori or, um, my mind just went blank, Wendy, Tasha, other Tasha, my mom, my adopted parents, my kids. If I wouldn't say that to them, Marlene, if I wouldn't say it to Marlene, things like that, if I wouldn't say it to other people, why am I saying it to myself? If Crystal would have texted me with the same thing I texted her Wednesday, I wouldn't have told her I was a failure. She was a failure. I wouldn't have told her she was a bad mom. I wouldn't have told her she was an idiot all the things I told her and Chrissy and Kat that I was, I wouldn't have said that to them. So why did I say it to myself? You know? Okay, let's get off that tangent. And let's see, what else can we talk about? Let's talk about how freaking hot it's been. Monday, it was 70 degrees. Two days after the start of summer, and it was spring weather. Now it's been a hundred degrees. Nobody wants a hundred degrees. Um, and I also think my face has gotten burnt going on my walks. Kind of hurts a little. I should probably start wearing sunscreen. You know, but I've gotten really dark. Can you all see? Like on my neck and my face, and the rest of me is so white. That's pretty funny. Um. Let's see what else. My son likes it when I do this and he says, Mom, I like playing with your bumps. Yeah, I say, oh, you like my wrinkles? Um, hmm, what else can we talk about? That balloon is almost two weeks old. If it wouldn't set a bad example for my kids, I would suck the helium out. But that's bad for you. Don't do that. It can freeze your lungs or something like that, I heard. Um, my town's been crazy lately. There's been a lot of crazy things going on. It seems like... Now that... You know, the sickness that's been going on for the last year and a half is kind of dwindling down. 
people are getting vaccinated. The crazies are coming out, like, full force, at least where I'm at. Oh, you guys want to know what I heard today? I don't know if it's like Walmart's all over, or if it's just Walmart's in my area, but starting on July 1st, they're going to start charging you for every bag. Every bag. Like Aldi's. What? So, we've decided when we go grocery shopping, when we get ready to check out, my husband's going to go get a second cart. We're just going to tell them to put the groceries in the second cart. And then... Yawning again. And then we're going to um, keep laundry baskets in the back of our car and put our groceries in there. We usually do that and just put the bags in there, but this will make it... Um, We'll just do it without the bags. It makes it easier to carry them in. You're not making 5,000 trips. Usually I will bring the baby in while my husband grabs the first laundry basket. And then I will go out and grab the second laundry basket. And then I'll go through Well, besides, like, the cases of water and things. He goes back out for those. But, yeah, that's what I heard. Y'all might want to uh, ask your local Walmarts about that. What else? What else is going on in my world lately? Mm. Anything interesting? Mm. I don't know if y'all can read that sign, but my daughter's name is spelled wrong on it. Um, my adopted mom's friend made that, I think. it's. A... No, that's not the one. There's a sign at my adopted mom's house that, uh, my daughter's name is spelled wrong. They spelled it K-A-T-I-E, I think. But that's okay. I know her name is spelled uniquely. Um, where else? Oh, my daughter got this cool terrarium thing for her birthday. That I can't wait for her to get home. Where did she put it? She got this for her birthday and I'm pretty excited to do it with her. Pretty excited. And, um, she's been at her Mimi since... When did she go to her Mimi's? Monday? I'm trying to think, was it Monday? Monday. I can't remember. Monday, I think. And then, uh, she came home today for a few hours, and my mom is keeping her and my sister's three girls and her son for the night. Maybe two nights, and we're not sure yet. Um, a lot of people ask me, why do you send your daughter away so much? Listen, I don't send her away. If she wants to go, unless we've got plans, I'm not going to keep her from going. You know, I'm a firm believer, especially with all the loss, as you guys know. Excuse me, that I've experienced in my life. I'm a firm believer and you never know when's the last time you're going to get to be with your loved ones. And so y'all can tell that I'm sitting in front of a window and the light's going down. The sun's going down, the light's going down. Um, you never know when the last time that you're going to get to see them is, and with my adopted parents being, you know, in their 60s, um, I let her go over there. During the school year, she goes over there pretty much every weekend, and during the summer, she goes over there when she wants, comes home when she wants goes to my mom's when she wants, to my sister-in-law's when she wants, my mother-in-law's when she wants. Wherever she wants to go, she goes. And a lot of people think that's me pawning her off on people, but that's just me letting her be around the people she wants to be around. When she wants to stay home, she stays home. That's just the way it is. Now, there have been a couple of times, I'm not going to lie, where she said, 
she didn't want to go to her Mimi's. And I made her go anyways because it was just easier. We had a lot going on that weekend and it was just easier for her to be there instead of me having to take all three kids with me somewhere or, you know, whatever the case may be. But for the most part, if she wants to stay home, she stays home. I don't, I feel like I have to justify that to people in my real life all the time. It's ridiculous. Y'all, are the lightning bugs out where y'all are? They've been out full force here and they're so pretty. And did anybody else? Oh my goodness. When they were kids, did anybody else catch lightning bugs and pull the light up part off and rub it on your skin or on your clothes and it would glow? No, just me. Just me and my friends were the only psychos that did that. Cool. Okay, you guys, this was just a rambly chat video because I feel like I haven't done this in a while. For some reason, I feel like my husband's standing out that door listening to me, but probably not. All right. I'm gonna go put my son to bed. I'm gonna go for my last walk for, of the night. And I'm gonna have my Oreos and I'm gonna go to bed after I upload this video. I hope you guys have a wonderful night and I will see you tomorrow if I get up early enough to edit before my husband wakes up. Cause y'all know the thing, I don't like editing on his, we only have one computer. Well, we do have a laptop, but it's older than Methuselah and uh doesn't work really so actually we tried to update it and um it froze at three percent update and so there's that so i don't like to use his computer when he's home and awake because he you know does his streaming thing and whatever and so i usually do my editing and i upload and schedule uploads when he's at work but after the last couple weeks, I'm a little, <sighs> I haven't really been filming that much, but I'm excited to get back into it. And so if I wake up before him, I will get a video edited and uploaded tomorrow. If not, I will see you on Sunday and Monday and Tuesday for sure, for sure, for sure. Okay. Um, I don't know if I mention this in the video y'all will see tomorrow. Or the video y'all will see Sunday, whichever. Or the video after that video. In the cleaning, I don't know if I mentioned this in the cleaning video or the cooking video I did today, but I'm doing this pantry challenge as y'all saw in my grocery haul. And I wanted to know if y'all wanted just one video where I show all the meals or one video per meal. Let me know in the comments. All right. I'm gonna get off here and put my kid to bed. My Luca's already in bed. I need to go put Delson in bed. Uh, and then I need to go on my walk before it gets too dark. And then eat my Oreos. So I will talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.